Yes people, it's Adam from Shisha Central back again for another review and today I'm reviewing the Odeman Tarantula. So first I'm just going to give you a brief background on Odeman. They're well known for their glass shishas. A lot of people in the UK have been using them for the past around two years now. They've got a lot of models out. You normally know them for the N2 model or N5. I'm going to be reviewing the Tarantula which is a fairly new model and I picked this one up on a shisha fair when I was in Frankfurt in April. Picked up for 60 euros. It's done me really well for the past two, three months. So I thought I'd put a review up about it. But first off, as you can see here, not that many pieces that go with it. You've got the downpipe, which is stainless steel, as well as all of the other bits. This is what I find so great about it. Everything's easy to wash, um, easy to put together, and very quick to make. Normally when I make a shisha at home, or when I'm at a lounge, um, in a normal KM or Starbucks, it takes much longer than actually making it in the bottom here. So I'm gonna start off by showing you a few other components of the shisha. So this is the tarantula legs. These legs here come undone in the box. It took me about 10 minutes. I'm, I'm not really the type to build stuff like this, but it only took me around 10 minutes. It didn't come with instructions, but it's quite straightforward in what to do. You also got this metal tray. You can't really put too much on it, to be honest, so I wouldn't suggest putting coal on it, but it's just a nice finishing feature that goes well with the actual shisha base comes with a little light, changes colours that you attach over here. I'm going to leave that off today due to the fact that it's morning time and you won't be able to see the light. This is the actual main shisha along with the valve. So the screw on valve, normal ball inside, put that back there. And then obviously you got that silicone pipe which comes with a carbon mouthpiece over here. Quite nice, easy to wash along with a little spring so it doesn't bend when you're trying to smoke it. Also comes with a built-in diffuser to screw on easy to wash as well. Now I'm just going to show you guys the shisha in action, putting it together, the assemble process. So here it goes. For the base, I'm going to first go ahead and put in the water. You normally need around just less than half the base full for this one. Go ahead and put the tray on. Go ahead and put on this bit and then screw this on until it's nice and tight. It's around, I'll say inch over, inch and a half max and you put the pipe on nice screw on pipe as well that's the best thing about the ottoman to be honest everything's screw based so it's very very hard to knock pieces off while you're smoking your pipe will never fall out the ball bearing will never come out so today flavor wise some of you may have heard of it it's one of the newest flavors in the uk and one of the best in my opinion uh, it's called tobacco you can buy it from shishagear.com and from the tobacco website as well um, there are five flavors that are currently in the uk and my favorite flavor out of all of them is one called magna carta um, it has a cuba mojito taste i'll probably say similar to the old fantasia stuff but with a lighter kick so it's not as harsh and it lasts for around two hours as well so i've pre-made the head just a normal silicone head today guys with a normal cloud on top Put it on like so. Coals I'm using today. I love the Starbucks Coca Buzz 1.0 only because they fit well in heat management systems. You only need around two of them to get them pumping really well. They're my favorite cola choice when using HMDs. I'm just gonna put three on to start with. And now, as some of you may know, let it simmer for around five minutes. I'm just gonna wait. So I've let it sit for around five minutes now. So let me fire this up. Straight away. Wow. Yeah, this shisha has a one of the best pulls on it. Very light. Even if you have a sore throat, even if you're ill, and this might be a bit of a struggle for you to have shisha, well, this one, because of how light the pull is, you saw how much smoke still came out. Wow. Yeah, above average cloud, definitely. If you haven't tried, this amazing flavor by Sabaco called Magna Carta. You can try out a number of lounges that are now stocking it, or alternatively, you can go to shishagear.com, order it, or even just pop into the Starbucks shop that's in Stanmore and give it a try. I would highly recommend it. As you can see, the tarantula legs really complement the shisha. It looks a bit weird. A lot of people will ask if you're smoking this at a lounge. When you bring it out, people will ask you about it. I've been filming, and about five people already have just Ask what the hell is this? So it's quite it's quite eye catching. So if you're if you're a stunter, you want to smoke this up at a lounge and take it out. This is a good shisha to have. With the light below it in the evening time, it really does look much different, it looks much better as well. There's not really any downfalls about this shisha. 
other than the fact that if you're smoking with beginners and they don't know how to hold a pipe that they could potentially knock the shisha off because it does actually turn it does have a few stoppers here which are the screws but if pulled too much it can actually um, come down when i've smoked at home once with a friend of mine we nearly <laughs> took it off the base so that's one downfall but if you're worried about that then all i'll say take it off put it down like a normal ottoman and just give it a smoke i really like the silicone hose as well it's a bit different to some of the other stuff that's out there the texture is a bit different a bit more glossy on the outside i really like the mouthpiece as well you can use any head with this as well it does screw on to most normal uh, shisha heads you can use a clay but i just prefer silicone ones for most of my shisha because it's easy to put on and they fit really well i don't see any bad points about it apart from the fact it could fall off it pulls too much but i would highly recommend the shisha probably one of the ones i've been using a lot for the past one two months so and for lounges lounge practicality it's not practical for lounges um some lounges may have it if they got quite a big space in between seats accidents will happen with it as it's a glass shisha and it's on these legs um for home use it's really fun and you need to get one So some of you may be wondering where can I buy an Ottoman shisha in the UK? So obviously like I explained earlier, I bought this at in Frankfurt, Germany, when I went to a trade show. The shisha shop, which are UK based um, shisha website, they sell it for £114. I just checked about a couple of days ago, they have a discount on at the moment. I'm not sure if it's still going to be valid when you watch this, but now it's £89. That's a bargain, make sure you go and get that. Or alternatively, you can go on Amazon and get it from there. Similar prices are on there as well. Some of you may be thinking where we're filming today. So we're actually filming at a lounge called HDO, which is um, a name that some of you may know if you're based in the UK or London for. They're opening Shisha again. So Shisha will be running here at the end of June, 2018. As you guys may know, it's a very nice location to come for a summer smoke. And it's gonna be the most exclusive place to smoke again in East London so watch out for this they're coming back with a bang and make sure you come down there and check out my Instagram we've got a couple of events happening here as well so make sure you support them and check them out thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the review try to go in as much detail as I can I've been listening to all the feedback I've been getting from all of my American buddies from everyone in the UK and I've got loads more in store for you so just to give you a little glimpse of what's next we've got the Ottoman Micro review coming out soon a couple of Sahara smoke reviews and some haze tobacco reviews as well. Take care and I'll catch you later.